I am afraid that my kids will get expelled. Good. Summer, you go. I am mad that I can't huff enamel without people assuming it's because my family sucks. I hope to be seen one day as someone that just likes getting high. Good job. Morty, do you have an I statement? I am sad that I peed. I, I'm, I'm sad that I peed in class instead of a toilet. Look at this family go. You guys are pros. What do you guys think about doing this once a week? Ugh. You must be Rick. Mm hmm I've heard a lot about you today. Your family is crazy about you. Your daughter holds you in very high regard. You're a lucky fella. Yeah, thank you. Uh, sweetie, you don't still happen to have that syringe in your purse? Dad? I would like you to tell me what's in the syringe. It's a serum that I need to, uh, to stay alive. I have had a rough day, and, uh, I've sustained a lot of damage. I'm, I'm pretty close to death, which the serum will prevent. By changing you from a pickle to a human. Yes. Rick, why did you lie to your daughter? So I wouldn't have to come here. Why didn't you want to come here? Because I don't respect therapy. Because I'm a scientist. Because I invent, transform, create, and destroy for a living. And when I don't like something about the world, I change it. And I don't think going to a rented office in a strip mall to listen to some agent of averageness explain which words mean which feelings has ever helped anyone do anything. I think it's helped a lot of people get comfortable and stop panicking, which is a state of mind we value in the animals we eat, but not something I want for myself. I'm not a cow. I'm a pickle. When I feel like it, so... You asked. Rick, the only connection between your unquestionable intelligence and the sickness destroying your family is that everyone in your family, you included, use intelligence to justify sickness. You seem to alternate between viewing your own mind as an unstoppable force and as an inescapable curse. And I think it's because the only truly unapproachable concept for you is that it's your mind within your control. You chose to come here, you chose to talk, to belittle my vocation, just as you chose to become a pickle. You are the master of your universe, and yet you are dripping with rat blood and feces, your enormous mind literally vegetating by your own hand. I have no doubt that you would be bored senseless by therapy, the same way I'm bored when I brush my teeth and wipe my ass. Because the thing about repairing, maintaining, and cleaning is, it's not an adventure. There's no way to do it so wrong you might die. It's just work. And the bottom line is, some people are okay going to work, and some people, well, some people would rather die. Each of us gets to choose. That's our time. I'm going to give you guys my card and hope to hear from you again. And if you have any friends or family that eat poop and would like to stop, give them my number. I don't know. Therapy is starting to feel hopeless. I've got so many issues. We need to talk. Hey, no. I will not speak with you if you refuse to treat me and my patients with respect. Oh, Lord. I was a fly. So unburdened. So free of shame. Well, I'm officially cured. Here, here's your data. Hard proof that God hates me. I ignored a troll, and Jerry beat the guy's ass. Now he's got this orb, and he's using the power, which I gave him, to annihilate planets of Hitler's, and everyone's popping champagne. Rick, you came here because you wanted things to change, and they're changing. It's working. Oh, so if my bumbling moron of a son-in-law beats up people, it's working. But if I do it, it's a cosmic abuse of power? Rick, listen to yourself. You're complaining about how you have to be careful with your immense power, and that Hitler's are dead. Everything you're describing is positive. Oh, sh. Not reacting, that really is the kill move? I don't know if you need to think about it in terms of murder, but yes, just stay the course. Okay, good, good talk. Well, what you're describing is therapy, and if you'd like to keep receiving it, start scheduling your visits with Judy up front. Jerry, do you agree that the use of puppets makes you seem dumb and crazy? I don't think crazy is a responsible word to use It is now. This is crazy. You're being crazy. They do it in therapy on TV. What well, TV gives British people prizes for baking, Jerry. Ah! 
Tammy? Tamia. Tamia. Hi, Mrs. Smith. I like your hair better this way. How's the stomach? What? <laughs> hey! Uh, I only said hey. It's not like I can do more than that. As much as I'd like to kill you, my superiors have some questions about the Defiance. I don't have a... I have a Defiance? Oh, God, I'm a clone. That's your defense? No, my defense is eat me. Hey! Ah, we've been over this. All I do is say hey! Smart guns, weightless human life. And the therapist. <laughs> Tammy, this is the office where my family works to better itself. What, and that makes it sacred? No, it makes it a place I've rigged with a lot of voice-activated escape contingencies. <clears throat> These are all good points. I need to take a long look at myself. I'd like to discuss that. I don't discuss problems, I incinerate them. Everybody in the car! Everybody in my family, not the world. Jesus Wong, boundaries. I'm better than this job.